Hello everyone. Welcome back to MC Dungeons. The Desert Temple and the Fiery Forge are now unlocked. And then that will lead us to this one. We had to beat both of those to get there. And then I'm going to guess that it's just the one level after that. So I think I read this somewhere that there are nine levels. Not counting this. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four. So yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and pop into the Desert Temple. We'll do the Fiery Forge next. But I haven't seen this one at all. And so I want to do this one first. That way, just in case somehow I don't get to, like, beat this one. Or in case I don't, like, get to, um, like, beat the game tonight. A powerful necromancer, I can, like... Ruler of a nameless kingdom. The necromancer wields an enchanted staff that holds the power to summon the undead. We must destroy it before the arch illager can claim it in his tiny evil hands. That would surely be the doom of us all. Alright. But yeah, I just want to get like as much new stuff that I haven't seen as possible. That way in case I don't get to finish it tonight, there's less of a chance of me spoiling myself. So, I don't mind spoilers in games. I actually don't. Like, spoilers don't usually take away for me. Um, like, there's a lot of things that I was spoiled about with Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, like, you know, time skip, stuff like that. Um, so there, there was a lot that I knew going into that game. So, it wasn't like... So it, 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 you know, it didn't ruin my, like, enjoyment of the game to already know a bunch of that stuff. So, I guess that's just kind of what I'm trying to say is, like, I don't mind spoilers because it doesn't... Oh my god, this guy's basically a freaking mob spawner. Got him. That's how you do it. I like this play style. It's worked out really well. Yeah, that guy could just freaking summon undead there. That was that necromancer they were talking about. Probably like a big necromancer like boss dude at the end. Um, but yeah. Like that was definitely a necromancer. Ooh, frick. Okay. Back here, spider. Loot! Core arrows. I mean, it is nice having that, like, complete heal, though. No, I, I shouldn't say complete heal, but, like, instant heal. Like, it's almost better than the totem of regen, just because it is the instant heal. But at the same time, that regen is also really good. I, I, I can't say any one is particularly like better than the other. You know, I think they both would work depending on your playstyle. You know. So. Just dependent on how you play the game. If you're out there, you know, taking massive damage constantly, then yeah, that big heal is going to be better for you. So. Just like the, the rapid fire bow might be better for you, you know? That definitely helped. Getting that big firework arrow off. I've been forgetting this, you know, swiftness. This is not the best thing. 
Also, you can only be so spoiled on this game because it is all procedurally generated. Oh, a soul knife? What is that? Like, I don't know about in this game, but soul knives are usually freaking ridiculously OP things. At least in like D&D they are. Um, plus two soul gathering. Ceremonial knife that uses magical energy to hold the wrath of souls inside its blade. <sighs> Jeez. Let me see. Oh, but this is a... It's a one combo. I don't like that. I'm not sure about that. Like, I guess it's a sword, but it's only a thrust. I'm not sure I like that. I guess we'll find out. Give it a try. Mm. It does not fit with my build. <laughs> It is so slow. Oh my god. It is getting, getting me massive souls, but oh, it is so slow. I think that hit my bat. Which of course doesn't have health, so it didn't matter. Hmm. I don't know, man. Oh, it is so slow. It is a very slow weapon. I mean, yeah, that soul collection is way up, but... Ugh. I don't know that I can do this. This is so slow. That weapon was so slow. I just I don't I just don't know if I can use it cuz it's too it's honestly it's too slow. Like I have a speed build going on right now basically. If I had maybe other artifacts or something that were better for you know a slower build. It might be good, but not with the current artifacts I have. Frick! Oh, frick! This sucks. This guy's a freaking mob spawner all on his own. It's funny that I'm a speed build, and yet my weapon is a, like my, um, like my ranged weapon is slow. <laughs> Boom. That helped. Gotta get that big damage every once in a while. If I could sw like, hot swap weapons, that would be the best. For you, like, having a quick weapon and a slow weapon. But this only being able to carry one weapon thing at a time, not the best. I mean, that's that on its own isn't a problem. It's just, like, going between, like, fast and slow, you know? It's definitely better. Definitely better to stick with one thing. And the, the artifact I have does kind of give me that, like, versatility a bit. Between, like, using a slow and using a fast. So it's not that bad. Oh, 
Also, I see that if I hit him with the bow, it kind of like breaks. I don't know if it's because I'm doing a certain amount of damage, but it's breaking their shields. And that's really useful. Any game that has shields needs to have some way of breaking the shields. Cause like that's a viable strategy, you know? Like removing the shields or breaking the shields. Like that should be a viable strategy. What is this? Is this an extra place? Oh frick. I have more souls than I need. Should really do something about that. That's fire. Oh, frick. Frick. Got two of those necromancers, and that's causing me an issue. A lot of these, like, wraiths. I'm calling them wraiths because they kind of look like wraiths. Like, there's a lot of these, like, wraith enemies. They don't seem to be soul-sucking, but... Definitely dealing damage over time with that fire. Ooh, frick. Long ability. Boom. You're wrecked. Oh my god, there's another one. So many necromancers. Got him. Level up. I'll actually... Did I get an enchantment point from leveling up? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's actually really good. I think get that snowball. Every second a snowball. That'll really help. That every second snowball. That's gonna help a lot. Okay, that opened something somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. I'm sure I'll figure out where eventually. Probably not necessarily that way, but there's definitely a beacon down that way. No frick! I couldn't get out from those guys! Boom! Look at that! Snowball! Just going off! Over and over again. I love it. I need to draw this guy's freaking stupid mobs away. This is where that rapid fire would come in handy. For sure. So I'm not necessarily sure coming in this direction was the right choice, but it is what it is. We've done it, so there's no taking it back. Got him. That helps. <sighs> oh yeah, that snowball. Every second is so useful. I bet we're unlocking this. Like, we hit all the beacons and they'll unlock that, I bet. There isn't a beacon over here, though. That snowball. Now, I keep saying it, but it really is good. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I keep saying it. Oh, yeah, it's like raising it up slowly each time, I think. 
I don't know that's just how that's always looked, and just now noticing the like section. Yeah, really good for the speed build. Like really good for this like really getting in close and personal type build. There it is. And I almost got stuck there. Grim armor. Figures, just after I get that speed build, I end up with this. <laughs> um, food was, uh, excuse me. I mean, the potion barrier is a good ability. Don't get me wrong. I'd say it's on par with the, uh, the snowball. Um, but I'd almost say that with the speed build, the frenzied would be good. Especially since I keep taking a lot of damage. Um, but I don't know. I think I'll hold on to it for now, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Probably getting comments being like, Serene, you should be using these abilities and whatnot. And it's like, I'm sure that those abilities and things are good. You know? Like, you're definitely not wrong. I'm sure those strategies are good. But, it just may not be my playstyle, you know? Uy! Yelp! Get out of there. This enderman is giving me trouble. This, I can see, is going to be a problem. Enemies that can't be stunned. Like, that's going to give me a hard time. Because this, like, stun speed build that I've got going doesn't work with unstunnable enemies. Um, a glaive. It might not be a bad idea to have a secondary weapon. Just for those times. Let's, uh, let's give this glaive thing a try. It is a really nice, like, more ranged weapon. Um, obviously don't have any enchantment points to put on it, unfortunately. But, it does have some nice enchants on it. I just gotta level up once or twice. It is a vastly different playstyle, though. Can't just run in there and, like, expect to attack and hit fast, you know? Like, I'm trying to mash the button and attack fast like I was before. I can't really do that. Not to say that these, this isn't really good, though. Just maybe a bit slow. Um, I was stuck? Oh, probably from the spider. I was like, why am I stuck? Probably from the spider. But I think maybe even this glaive is like really good right now. Because of these guys. The like big guys here that I'm fighting. The necromancer dudes. Like, it's almost better than knives just because, like, the speed build was good for, like, what I had been dealing with. But then these guys are just too strong for the speed build, you know? Some speed on my weapon, though, would be kind of nice.
try and get the, uh, the zombies to come this way. And run around. And bang! Nice! Don't like the finisher combo though. It like, it takes too long. Like, you do this big, like, finisher swing, and then it, like, stops you for a moment. There's a small chest. Oh boy. Go! Oh, frick! Going! Ow! Yeah, these are, these are like pressure plates that are activating these traps. Oh, frick! Not cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that the pressure plates are completely unavoidable. This is what it is though, I suppose. Rick! Almost walked into that. Oi! Oi! Those were apparently expected for me to come from the other direction. Gotta admit. Those are really good. <laughs> Thief armor. That's a downgrade again. Interesting that the pressure plates were on the other side since like this doesn't even connect to the to this here. Ow. I mean, the glaive is pretty nice, especially when you're dealing with the freaking... Um... Like, it's really good for lo for large amounts of enemies. And this stun build that I have going is pretty good. For just about anything. Really didn't want to use that there, but I got stuck by the spider web, so... Wasn't much of an option, unfortunately. Oh! Did my bat just die? Or the bear? Dude. Guess my bat did have health, I just didn't know it. Maybe it had like, like maybe it'll come back after a moment. Hmm, I hope it does. <laughs> they kind of need that bat. This looks like a secret. Kind of anyway. Uh, maybe not. Like this looks like a secret right here. But I don't see any switches or anything. Not around here anyway. This might be one of those secrets that you can only get when you've beaten the game. So...
His enchanted boyos, though. This is definitely the best weapon to use right here. That snowball though is really helping. I am out of arrows. All right, I got this guy. My, my snowballs were just permanently stunning him, so. Let me go ahead and just get that um, firework ready. See the traps there. I don't see any reason to go over there, though. Oh, frick. There's the artillery again. Survive the ambush. Get him. Problem is, is that the spawning is timed. If you don't kill the enemies a certain amount of time, they spawn more enemies. Which can be highly problematic. The whole not having arrows thing that's getting me right now. I don't know, maybe the glaive wouldn't have been such a bad idea to keep right now. Yeah! Oh my god! Freaking. This stupid race I'm having the most trouble with right now. Ow! How oh, did they all get killed in the smusher? I think they all got smushed. Oh, frick you. Of course it would have to be you. That failed. Incredibly. Frick. I'm getting like killed over here. Got him. <sighs> I swear those mobs that spawn mobs are insane. They are not easy to handle. Like at all. You down, thanks. Ow! Didn't see the trap there. For once I didn't notice the trap. Boom! Got him. Nice thing about those is that if you can get a direct hit, it seems to kill him right away. Honestly, I still like this. After doing this level with the glaive the whole way, I still prefer the daggers. Yeah, they, you have like no freaking range. But this stun thing that I've been doing is perfect for that. Got him. If you can get into positions like this where you can just hit them with a firework arrow, it works. Like, don't even need the freaking glaive to deal with those guys. 
that said, I absolutely can see where the glaive comes in handy. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Enderman. Once again, can't exactly stun this guy. Frick. The whole stun bell doesn't work the best with this guy. Got him. That's what matters. Go ahead and heal up. Those wraiths, you really do need the range to kill. Oh boy. Frick you. One behind the stupid wall. And he's bugging out. Got him. Nice! There's a level up. Um, I mean, I've just got one enchant point, so... I don't think I can enchant anything at this point. <laughs> I just love how he bugs out when I stand right there. I get him first shot. He won't even have a chance to summon. I love the stun. I love just stunning them right here. Why do I need to kill them? Just let the freaking trap kill them. It's great. Man, that firework rocket has been really good <laughs> lately. Don't know what I should be expecting down here, but this is apparently progress. And maybe I don't want to immediately go this way. Alright. Again, sorry if I'm being kind of quiet here. I'm kind of focusing. <laughs> If I can be honest. Got him. As soon as I saw that firework react, the firework rocket was back, I'm like, I gotta do that. I gotta take that guy down before I do anything else. Ooh, frick. This is just the best freaking... Like, this is the best weapon so far. It really has been. Like, the freezing the enemies has been nice. Got him. Again, this is the best in my play style. Your play style may be vastly different. And thus, it may not be the best for you. Crunch. 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 Nice. Didn't get him. But I got him stunned. That's what matters. <sighs> Freaking snowball for the win, man. Ooh, frick. That hurt. Thank you. 
Ow. Can you even see that was there? All right, progress. Boom. I'll frick you again. Boom. A what? That's aimed at the freaking necromancer. That freaking shot that way instead. This is not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> More enemies. More enemies. Very many enemies. Really need this rocket to come back. Boom, got him. Times like this that I wish I had an AOE. There are two of them. That's not the most helpful. I am under a great deal of stress right now. <laughs> Boom! Got them both. Man, that firework rocket is nice. Although their glaives are kind of nice too. <laughs> to them, anyway. Not to me. That, I mean, the fact that their freaking glaives can hit me so far away is really good for them. Why well, have my snowballs? What if I could just beat the game with this exact setup? Why? Why are there so many of these guys? Is there more up here? Probably. Freaking A! Trying to see if I can get to the dude easily or not. Not really. Oh, and there's two of them. Of course there are. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. I'm about to die. Get no safe spot. I hope this is a safe spot. <laughs> hope I didn't just screw myself by coming up here. Can easily see myself getting backed into a corner here. I kind of have been. There's so many mobs. Oh my god, and there's another one. Oh, this is a bad place to be. There are so many enemies. This is when I wish I still had my totem. <laughs> Seriously. It's like line them all up. Boom. Got one. Just gotta get them one at a time. That's what matters. I mean, I can see the fault of the daggers. You know? It's like, look, I'm getting pounded by these guys. And it's like, yeah, if I had a glaive or something, you know, if I was using the glaive, I could probably do a lot better. Because it's also, you know, ranged. <sighs> Same time, it's a lot slower. <laughs> And I don't got extra attack. That's a D&D &D joke, by the way. Oh, 
Boom. Okay. There's another one down. Every time I take one down, that's one last thing I have to worry about. And that makes this fight that much easier. God, and I just, I don't have my bat at all. Like, I guess, I guess my bat did die and that was just it. Like, I don't, it hasn't come back at all. I hope it does come back at some point, maybe in between levels at least. I'm sure it will. <sighs> okay. So I got more of these guys to deal with. Oh, we're getting there. Boom! Got him down. See, there's another one up there. I have one last to deal with now. Doesn't help that their attacks kind of look like the souls. So, like, I keep walking into those guys' attacks thinking that I'm collecting a soul, and then it's when I take the damage, I'm like, oh, frick. That is not a soul. Snowballs for the win. <laughs> Seriously. Snowballs are carrying me through a lot of this. Picked up a glaive. This is an even better glaive. 34. What are the enchants? Uh, oh, is it the 32 one? I mean, it's got sharpness. But it's also got smiting, which would be really good in this situation. I'm going to do this sharpness anyway. Figure maybe getting a little bit of range would help. May not be as fast, but it's got the range, you know. Boom. I don't know if it was the glaive that helped there or if it was really just getting in there with the freaking um the the firework rocket there. I don't know, but I don't think it matters. That is just we got through it. I am gonna use this though for now. Just because I can see that it's definitely going to be helpful. Because, I mean, there's still a boss coming up, I'm assuming. You know? I'm probably going to want some kind of ranged... ...for that. That's how the rest of this has been. This glaive is probably going to be really good... ...against this boss here. When I get to him up here. Fetch the staff. New objective. Oh boy. Yep, this is the boss. He, that's going to be the necromancer, did I bet. The Nameless Kingdom. Fetch the staff. The nameless one! Oh, frick, that hurts a lot. Boom. Frick, that hurts. I bet you now that I've killed, like, all of his minions, he'll summon more. This might be the best chance to attack. Yep, there's more. Oh, you're kidding with that. Wow. That was a lot of attacks all at once. Rick. 
It's almost pointless to like attack these guys, honestly. Just to focus on him. At the same time, <laughs> that freaking damage. Could this be the ultimate cheese? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Cheese it. Cheese it. Yeah. Get that cheese. Get that cheese. Oh my god, this cheese. It's like hitting the pillar and then bouncing off. Or... Oh no, no, it's my bat. My bat came back. Oh my god. Bat OP. <laughs> That's what it was. I'm like, why? Like... This is amazing. Yeah, no, bat, uh, bat OP. Like, bat's back. So it's just sitting there slaughtering. I love this. Look at this. Bat OP. <laughs> bat, best freaking weapon. This is amazing, just so you know. Waiting for the freaking firework rocket to be back. Got him! Bat OP! If I hadn't died there, I would not have been able to do that. That was all the bat. 100%. Oh my god, Bat OP! Boom! Oh, frick. They're like, oh, they're burning. That's what it is. Got like a burning aura. It's a good time to have the glaive. Get around that burning aura. Gotta have that reach. Honestly, both weapons are good. Like I said earlier, like, being able to hot swap weapons would be amazing. Uh, Purple Storm. I'll have to look at that in a minute. Ooh, frick. Like, now I've gone back to the knives. Because the knives are also really good. It's not, honestly, it's not as hard to hot swap your weapons as I thought it was. It really is just pushing A twice. Like, you hit this, you select the weapon, you hit A, you hit A again. Immediately. Like, quick swap is not hard. Not too hard, anyway. A lot of skeletons. Get wrecked. Snowballs do work good. I mean, they're definitely best with single target. But they are useful. Sometimes they'll stun multiple enemies, which really helps. But they definitely do seem to serve their purpose purpose best for single target Next oh boy is destroyed once again the arch illager is thwarted yes oh my god that was not an easy level torment quiver radiates powerful energy drawn from the eternal source of the undead. Ooh. Uh, 52 range damage, one second cooldown, gathers souls, requires souls, gives slow arrows to knock back mobs and pass through walls. Eh, I 
I don't know about that one. Um, ooh, increased fire rate. Power is vastly lower. Um, speed and ammo are much higher, though. Increased, plus has increased fire rate. Um, it's got supercharge. I don't know what these are. These are powerful enchantments. Gravity's effect pulls mobs in range towards the weapon's impact point. Seals a small amount of mobs' movement speed and gives it to you for four seconds. Has a chance to fire five arrows in all directions on impact. Oh! Poison cloud. Punch! Lock back on my arrows as always. Lock back isn't bad. Um, you don't even have anything good on you, nor do you. I think I want to keep this glaive. I feel like this could be really good if I could enchant it. But I've used all my enchants that I've gotten so far. Like, I really have. Like, I've got zero points right now. I don't know that I want to use that either. All right, let's see what these guys got this time. Corrupted Beacon holds immense power within. It waits for the moment to unleash its wrath. Ooh. Fires a high-powered beam that continuously damages mobs. I mean, I don't know. That might be better than the rocket if I shoot it forward. Um, I probably don't want to go all souls, though. Because then I won't have a lot of souls. Like, I've been using the souls with the soul healer. Which, granted, I've been over on souls, so it might not be too bad. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. It is increased souls anyway, so... Um, cutlass... Sickles, ceremonial weapon that hails from the same region as the desert temple. Um, a little bit of power, a little bit of area, less speed. Which is fine. But it doesn't have the double sharpness. I don't, I, the other thing is that I still don't know if double sharpness is good. Like, I may have just completely screwed myself over with that double sharpness. Um... Stunning, leeching, thundering. I mean, leeching is not bad. Wish I knew how much health my bat had. Or if it's like a length of time or something. This one's got smiting. Leeching, more smiting. So I don't know if double works or not, though. That's the problem. Uh, I mean, it's so much more, though. 36 to 84. Versus the 28 I'm dealing here. But, I've also got what I assume to be <laughs> another 34% increased damage. I don't know what that is, though. I don't remember how to figure... Um... it like it's 28 damage am I then timesing that or dividing that I think I'm dividing that by 44% no I think I have to times it times 44% is an extra 12 so, oops, 12 plus 28 is 40. So, I mean, I'm dealing, if it's doing that, it's getting 40, which is about what this does, just on its own. Um, God, though, this, again, though, this goes to the fact that it slows mobs. Like, I feel like this could be good, but I would have to salvage. 
in order to actually put anything on it to make it decent. And then, if I salvage, then that's going to completely get rid of my fangs of frost in general. I don't know that I want to do that. Oops. Do one more trade. Regular daggers! Because that's so helpful when I have freaking fangs of frost. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Hello, Emeralds. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Uh, check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episode you might have missed. And uh, with that, still haven't really seen any use for this place. Um, maybe it doesn't have a use, you know, maybe it's just your house, you know, so, I don't know. But anyway, with that, I guess I'll see you guys next time. See you later.